when I uh, think someone else is another someone else and called them by that other person's name. How embarrassing. Greetings and salutations. This is your girl, I Spoken Diva. And uh, let's talk about it, shall we? Um, Risa Tisa. I had no, 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 no plans on talking about Risa Tisa. I didn't. Number one, did not watch all the videos. I watched the first one. And uh, I found out it was, after that first one, I found out that it was uh, 50 uh, videos. Number one, I don't even have TikTok. But there were compilations on YouTube. I'm like, I don't have the 500 minutes to uh, watch that. I don't. So I uh, cheated. <laughs> And I uh, read the synopsis, the the detailed synopsis on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Okay. But once I got through with it, I was like, oh, tell us all this time. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. There's no exception to the rule. Everybody plays the fool. That's the song. That's the synopsis. Even by her own, uh, let me put my hands down because these nails are not painted correctly. Um, everybody, uh, you know, even by her own uh, thing, she said, you know, she thought it was her time. She was lonely, you know. You know. So, if you don't know who Risa T is, it's a lady who uh, went on TikTok, made 50 videos talking about uh, the demise of the relationship between her and her former husband, who she calls Legion, and, uh, yeah, and her role in, uh, her husband, because her husband, uh, came out to be not who he presented himself as, okay? So, I'm trying to get my camera together, I don't know why it wasn't together in the first place, but, oh well. Into who? Then there's, uh, but I looked up. Had no intentions of talking about any of this. or And what I wanted to talk about, I was like, oh, my window is closing, closing, closing. Then on Dante Walker's page, Facebook page, I saw him react um, to, uh, to a clip of her. And by the time you see this come up, she would have already, she would be on the Tamron Hall show on Monday. So when this comes up, I'm going to post this on Monday to YouTube. Uh, it will be that day. And uh, probably I might have already watched it, hopefully. But, uh, and what sh the clip that I heard, I was like, oh, yeah. It falls right in line with what I want to talk about. And earlier on the time that I am uh, posting, me, I am recording this, Legion, I do not know what this man's name is. People have talked about it. People, have, uh, you know, I saw the clip that he did when the thing finally came out. Everybody finally watched it. He put out um they're saying that uh Risa Tisa was lying and, but then I knew that I probably wasn't gonna believe anything he said because he was like and I'll let y'all know uh whoever uh I allow interview me sir if you wanted to dispel anything that that woman was saying saying that she was uh, lying uh you would have did a uh, TikTok uh just like she did so yeah you want to shop around an uh, interview or pick an interview or whatever okay and sure enough, the uh, one of the review people that I watch, uh, Really BTV, uh, uh, did a synopsis of it, and uh, she had her notes and stuff. And pretty much what I was learning, yeah, it's not just he said, she said. I I probably believe Risa Tisa. But anywho, that's not what we're talking about. We're not going to talk about those two. We're not going to talk about Risa Tisa. We're not going to talk about Legion. We're going to talk about the Breakfast Club and the Big Back comments. Because that's what, I mean, because the clip that I saw and what I've been wanting to talk about and the clip, I know it's going to come up and it's about, she's like some famous people, you know, talked about how she looked. And we knew, who I knew who they was talking about because uh, when I got up one day and was like, what? What did Breakfast Club, what did Charlemagne say? Hmm. And I... I'll put below, well, I'll put on the screen what I said in response to what he first said, you know. I'll put it up on the screen now. Okay. Basically, uh, first, just with the, uh, just with the mess, just with the mess, just hilarious. She has a segment, just with the mess. 
uh, was talking about the Risa Tifa uh, situation. And she was explaining what I was going on. And Charlemagne said, is she a big back? You don't know what a big back is. Big back is a person with a broad back. Usually they're fat. <laughs> okay, so. Didn't have nothing to say until, yeah, he brought my people into it, right? Okay, yeah. And she was like, well, yes, yeah, she's a Sheila. If y'all know who Sheila is, Sheila is uh, Sheila from um, Why Did I Get Married? Jill Scott's character who was driving up the mountain after she got put off the uh, plane to go save her marriage. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she was in this horrible marriage with this guy named Mike. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, spoiler alert if you haven't seen that. Um, go on to the next movie. Uh, they end up getting divorced, you know, he's very cruel to her. And then we get to the next movie, and she's married to uh, this guy named Sheriff Troy. And we find out that uh, he was abusive, really abusive. He hit her in the movie, okay? Uh, remember all of that, because that's going to come back. Yeah, I want y'all to remember that, okay? That's who, you know, she was a Sheila, because Jill Scott had a whole fat suit on and uh, for most of the movie, okay? And then she loses weight. Spoiler alert. <laughs> okay. Anywho... So, he was like, uh, yeah, big back, okay, yeah, big back behavior, huh? You know, Risa T says, yo, she was exhibiting big back behavior because some, he did say some, big backs, big backs, they think different. Okay. Next day, we find out T.S. Madison, who is a transgendered social media personality. I think she's a social media personality. I think that's right. I know, I know who she is. I know the stuff, but I've never, like really watch T.F. Madison like that, but, um, my uh, scalp is itching, I'm trying to not dig in, so, yeah, excuse me, uh, was, uh, very upset because of the whole, you know, big back situation, she's self-proclaimed big backer, you know, big back person, and, uh, she talked about, uh, uh, he, uh, Charlotte may be crazy if, you know, looking crazy if she harmed him. I, I can't remember what exactly she said. And she also brought, uh, up just hilarious this, uh, situation with, she used to date this guy named, um, comedian, uh, Country Wayne. And, you know, they had like a contentious breakup and all this kind of stuff. So the next day, it goes to ping pong ball again, back over to the, uh, breakfast club. And they were like, you know, upset with uh, T.S. Madison, transgendered Madison, um, uh, about what she said about uh, Jess uh, and Charlemagne and how dare you act like this and how dare you bring up my situation. And Charlemagne was like, yeah, because if I said anything about harming you, everybody be ready to counsel me. Okay. Then they do a next uh, segment. It was like three days ago. Uh this is where I uh, had to redo this uh, video. I mean, video was perfect. And then I called someone by the wrong name. <laughs> I said it was Drewski. It was Big Mac was on. Uh, he's on from uh, the Wild and Out show. I've seen him a few times. Uh, you know, uh, he was on. And they wanted to talk uh, about uh, the BBB, the Big Back Brigade. Uh, that's what they call it. Uh, the big bags um being upset and big mac was trying to say well yeah it's kind of like uh and i kind of because he was chuckling with them i was like uh, and of course it was pretty much like doubling down you know like why do y'all care you know people have called charlemagne gay and they've done all this stuff don't nobody care they don't really have no problem with me and all this kind of stuff and then you know big mac was trying to you know trying to um be uh be a app you know trying to stand up you know and say don't say this he was like what if i use uh it's like the n-word you can't say it but we can you know that kind of situation i was like okay yeah and then they had on people you know they people were, were calling in and stuff like that and pretty much no one is saying well no one out loud is saying that you know and there are people that i have followed that have uh talked about it but i haven't really uh uh, watched a lot of it because I have my own opinion. Like I said, I didn't know if I was going to actually do it until now. Um, uh, what was not being said is not about you talking about fat people. I've never subscribed to the Big Back, uh, because how that even came about is a insult. That is not the new name we're going to call fat people. I'm a fat woman. I'm a plus-size woman. I'm, uh, 
a BBW. Big Mac is a, a BHM. <laughs> or what did I accidentally call? I accidentally called him a uh, Drewski. That's a guy who's in the movie. Uh, uh, praise this. My bad. I'm sorry, Big Mac. I know who you are. You're Big Mac, not Drewski. Sorry. Anywho, and he's a BHM. He's a big handsome man. Okay. That's BHM is more than just uh, Black History Month. Okay. BBW is more than just Bath and Body Works. It means big, big beautiful woman. Those are the words that I uh, and I am part of the plus size community. Okay. Um, big uh, uh, but I don't subscribe to Big Mac. I'm sorry. And, um, here's the problem with what, um, Charlemagne said. He said, it's big back behavior. Some big, uh, big backs think, I will give him that. He said some, but here's the problem. You know, good and well, and, you know, Charlemagne know good and well that it is all based on a stereotype. Because the stereotype is, uh, fat folks, they desperate, right? They lonely and desperate. Fat girls are easy. Big girls are easy. You know, because they're desperate. Big dudes will trick off their buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because they desperate. So, when non-fat folks uh, do, this, do this stuff, what are they? <laughs> to me, it should have been called they, uh, uh, it's desperate behavior. Not blaming on all on all the fat folks, not the big bags. It's not big bag behavior. And the fact that no one is saying this out loud means bupkis. Like I said, the songwriter said everybody's plays the fool. But okay, let me give some examples on why uh why is it what what is wrong with what Charlemagne said. So I'm gonna use food terms, sorry. It's not because I'm a fat girl. It's the only way I can uh uh zero in on this. The movie. It, some of y'all have never watched the movie uh Birth of a Nation. If you know the stereotype of black folks, uh love us some chicken and watermelon. Except me, cause I don't like watermelon. We love that fried chicken and watermelon. According to the movie uh Birth of a Nation, that was made in the uh one of the first the first movies. Uh, made in the 1900s it was uh white people dressed up in blackface and you know they uh they're in a courtroom scene and they uh the uh white black folks just, the black face folks are eating this chicken and watermelon and throwing the rinds and the bones everywhere okay that is the stereotype for us so if a white radio uh personality or podcaster something happens in the black community say uh oh well, is that that uh chicken and watermelon uh behavior? Were well, they black? That's that chicken and watermelon behavior. We be up in arms. Charlemagne be up there. They need to be and da 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 da. They need to be canceled. They need we need them off the air and all this kind of stuff. That's the same thing as you saying this big back behavior. You know it's based on a stereotype. You know this uh based uh based on a misconception. Oh, fat folks. Oh, fat folks ain't desperate. I'm not in that. I have been in some mess, uh, in a messed up situation. As soon as I figured out what was going on, I ended it. Yes, I can't call him. Uh, I yes, he was probably a bigger guy. Still a bigger guy, I think. You know, the reason why I'm named uh outspoken diva. It's because a dude uh, said that I was a big mouth B-word. That dude, Charlemagne looks like a big bat compared to that dude. That dude is so thin. Okay. I ended it, I ended it so quick. Okay. You can't say big back behavior and not say that you, because it's not because of the belief that you think Fat folks will do anything because uh, they'll accept any kind of behavior in relationships because they're desperate. Okay, Miss Just Hilarious, you said you know, she's a Sheila. Okay. I told y'all all this stuff about Sheila and the uh, Why Did I Get Married movie. Okay, like I said, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert again. Before there was uh, the uh, Why Did I Get Married uh, franchise, there was a movie called Medea's Family Reunion, and she had a niece. Uh, Lisa, 
who was in an abusive relationship. She was planning her wedding and everything, trying to stay in this marriage. Her mom was trying to get her in this marriage, stay in this marriage. Spoiler alert, uh, she does not get married to this man, okay? This is where we, we see the action of grit ball, okay? So do we call it, she's a Lisa? Well, you know, if it was a thin woman, would you say, well, she a Lisa? Y'all might, you know, now that I think about it, y'all might because y'all y'all seem to be like woefully want to be hold on to these uh, beliefs and stereotypes that y'all have. You want to be woefully ignorant, woefully lack of knowledge. You, you, you going on deaf ears. Again, it was never about, for me, I'll say it this way. For me, it was never about you talking about fat folks. Y'all always talk about fat folks. But your belief that this behavior, this desperate behavior is a uh, big bag is because you only think that only fat folks act like this. What about people who uh, are in messed up situations because they're lonely and desperate and they're not fat? Are they leasing? Are they leases? How about it's just desperate behavior? But you don't want to say that because now people are calling your calling you to, uh, to the fire, and we have we have not attitudes, opinions about it. You have things to say. You want to say, you know, oh no, they don't really feel that way. Yeah, we do feel that way. Okay. But you know, hey, I have my opinion. This is my platform, and that's how they are. They have their platform. They're gonna uh, double down on it and stuff like that. So, but you know, when if it gets to them, like I said, it's you know, you want to believe a stereotype. What about the stereotypes that they believe about you? What if they start saying uh, uh, something is uh, Lenardi? You know, if I feel like, you know, because that's what I say, or Lenaring or whatever. What is that thing is Lenard, right? Uh, what if I say, uh, you know, people who want to be woefully ignorant, uh, uh, ignorant they're Lenarding. It doesn't feel so good because that means that everybody that's woefully ignorant is, you know, based on the stereotype that, you know, there's Charlemagne the, the God. Okay. Doesn't feel too good, does it? It does feel good, good to you because again, you don't care. <laughs> You know, and then people wonder why uh, a lot of folks don't go up for the uh, breakfast club. You know, people like, oh my God, he had a uh, he has a book about mental health. Mm -hmm. Somebody who really works on their mental health would be mindful of what they say. They would actually care about what other uh, how others would feel. Cause you know, people talk about them too. So you know, they would have some empathy about themselves. Only time I've ever really watched the uh, breakfast club was when people who uh i care about no i like and you know my pastor was on there uh on one time he was respectful to my pastor but then one time when uh drew hill my favorite uh r&b group was on it and, and uh, this was before uh just hilarious um they were on you know drew hill was on and he was asking about woody you know was he on drugs and finally he kept he asked that again and one of the members was like, did we ever say he was on drugs? <laughs> Do you know something about him being on drugs? <laughs> he left the group because he uh, decided to uh, uh, do a career in gospel. Okay? He, you know. And I knew then, you know, this is why, you know, the patterns of this uh, whole big back situation, they're going to believe what they want to believe because uh, people can check them all they want to and they still don't care. They're going to believe what they want to believe. But, you know, it's harmful. It's very harmful to believe in a, a stereotype. So, yeah. So, get down below. This video has gone longer than the other one. I don't like that. Uh, Get down below and let's discuss this, you know. Get down in the comments on this video on YouTube or uh, on the social media site that you see this on. Except Facebook. Y'all get down here in YouTube. Or you shoot me an email in the email uh, in, to the email address that's in the description box, right? Let's do better about people, right? Let's stop believing in and uh, uh, being ignorant and wanting to believe in stereotypes. <laughs> learn, learn who people are before trying to sum them up, okay? And other than that, talking to you in adult terms.